Sandra here with um, Natural Green Creations, and I am going to show you how to um, make a spaghetti squash into food we can eat. And um, you start off with just a spaghetti squash out of the garden or store, um, clean up the outside a little bit, and then I baked it and um, I put it in the oven for a half an hour, and then we're gonna take and cut it in half, and then we'll have to clean the, I cooked it half an hour first so that you can actually cut it, otherwise you can't hardly cut these things open. The skin is really hard on a spaghetti squash. So, I think I could have maybe done 20 minutes and it would have been good, but I did a half an hour. Do it like this. And it's pretty done. But if you cook it ahead of time, it's a lot easier to cut. So then what I do is I will scrape the seeds out and throw them away. I let it cool so I can handle it. Otherwise, it's too hot to handle. So it's just out of the oven. It's hot. Okay, so take the seeds out. And what we're making here is we're going to do a, a spaghetti squash pie. And it's going to be a, a low carb, so it's not going to have a pie crust. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so we do that. And I think all we're going to need is half of our... But we're going to set that aside, and we're going to mix up our crust, which is going to be meatloaf. And when I do meatloaf, I do not use breadcrumbs because I've been doing low-carb for quite a few years. You can buy a low-carb bread and do it, but some of your low-carb breads also has gluten, and I can't do gluten. It's uh, something I haven't been able to do for a very long time. Um, found out when I went on Atkins years ago. And I had eczema um, all my adult life, and it just kept getting worse. And when I went on Atkins, it went away. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't think of a whole lot of it until I'd lost a bunch of weight, and I went back on. I tried bread, and it's like, wait a minute, my eczema came back. Aha, uh -huh, got that one figured out. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our spices in our hamburger. I'm using two pounds of hamburger. And this is a packet that I got on sale. It was on the clearance rack for 99 cents, so I went ahead and bought it. If you do that, make sure that it don't have too many carbs, for one thing, because I am low carb. Um, but I also have to make sure there's no gluten in it. And this is a gluten-free, so, but I like to get stuff on the clearance rack. Otherwise, you can use salt, pepper, um, garlic, um, you know, whatever spices you want that you like in your meatloaf. Do it like you usually do it. I do not put bread crumbs in it, like I say. So then I'll put in a couple of eggs. And you can use a, if you got one of them fancy machines, I don't. Uh, the good Lord give me two hands. And they're worth a million dollars. Anyway, to me, they're worth a good million. Um, but they cost me nothing. So I like to just use my hands. Just use my hands and work it in and stir it with my hands. It's the way my grandmother did it. It's the way my great-grandmother did it. It's the way my mom did it. It's been passed down for many generations. Just, and it works pretty good this way. So this, this is going to be our pie crust when we get it all worked up. I'll put it in my pan here after it's all worked in. Eggs will help hold it together when it uh, cooks, um, but it's it's moister than it would be if I put breadcrumbs in. But 
I haven't put breadcrumbs in my meatloaf for a very long time, and that's pretty much what I do is basically a meatloaf mix. And then I'll just put it in here. Whoops, I didn't quite get it all stirred, but I can stir it in here as good as in this small bowl. This bowl's kind of small, so. Stir it up better. Got to get them spices stirred in good. So now I'm going to just form a bowl. Just kind of mush it around the edges. So it forms a bowl. Monica, back by the oven, there's um, a jar of um, like a spaghetti sauce back there. You want to grab it? I forgot to grab that and bring it out here. So just as as hard as I try to make sure that I have everything here for me, it never works. So basically, I just do it like a form it like a bowl. So then I will take and mix my um, scrape my. Um, spaghetti out of my spaghetti squash and see how it just comes right out. Just. And then I'm going to put some spaghetti sauce in it and I'm you can use tomatoes and make your own but I'm using what I bought on sale again. I like I like them sales. You can do it just about as cheap as, just as cheap. Sometimes in sales makes it cheaper than if you use something else. So you basically take your, and see how it just peels right out? I'm using a fork. And just like that. Now I'm gonna get the other end, so I'm gonna flip it over. And just work that there. Just comes out in just like spaghetti. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to stir in the. I got to get it all out. I don't like to waste any of it. Yep, there we got it all out. Okay, then we open our, can, our jar with my hands there. Right, uh, napkin. Dry my hands off. I can't open the jar with them slimy. Hopefully, I can get the jar open. Little trick I learned a long time ago: tap the lid on a countertop or whatever, and usually it'll pop right off. My hands are not dry. Can you get this lid off? Usually it's the other way around. She hands me something to take the lid off. <laughs> there she pops. Yeah, didn't hit it quite hard enough. Okay, so then I just kind of put this in here. Stir it up. Stirred up good. Nope. And um, do you have a aquatic turtle? Then we're going to just dump it in here. And then I, the last that's in the bottom, I'm going to dump on top. And then all we're going to have to do is put this in the oven for, I would say, a good half an hour. Um, you'll know if it's done. like so and then we'll put that in the oven and cook it and we will have our um, it's like a pie 
a spaghetti pie. And low carb because the noodles we're using is spaghetti noodles. Um, could be lower if I would have used different seasoning pack, but it's what I had. Um, there was two grams of um, carbs in the packet of seasoning. So um, it wasn't zero, but it's still a low carb. It's not like it's high carbs. And tomatoes has carbs in it too. So, But yeah, I'll put that in the oven and I'll um, come back and we'll taste it and see how it turns out. Well, I had it in the oven for an hour, and this is my um, spaghetti pie. It's got the meatloaf for the pie crust, and the meat that I used was uh, lean, very lean um, beef. It was also grass-fed, and the reason why I like to do grass-fed is because grass-fed is going to have as many omega-3s as salmon. Um, it's when you start feeding it corn that that's when it gets the bad fat. So I like to try to do that. I live on a cattle company, um, Line Lake Cattle Company. So yeah, it's, well, it's one of our critters that we put in the freezer. So um, anyway, we're gonna try this and see how good it is. She's waiting break, for me. It's breaking her fast. Yep, breaking her fast. Uh, and it is too. 34. So. I don't know the last time I went on here, but I've lost six pounds in the last month, a couple, yeah. few weeks. Well, I've lost five pounds in, since the first of the year, so, and now it's the eighth today, so. Yesterday, I didn't do good. I, a friend of ours, every, uh, two Thursdays a month, she has soup day. Well, the soup she had was very good soup, but it wasn't keto. It had potatoes in it. Potatoes aren't keto, so. Um, but it was really good, and yeah, I might have gained a half a pound, but I guess I can't complain too much about a half a pound. <laughs> anyway, it's really good. Mm. Then we have some leftovers. Um, yeah, but before we do that, I was going to, I have a whole half that we haven't used yet. So now we're going to just brainstorm a little bit what we can do use with the other half. I was thinking it'd make a really good noodle soup. We could That'd do like different. a chicken Alfredo noodle soup or a chicken noodle soup or a, try. what okay. do you think? Anything try other? It. Oh, uh, I've done chicken it. Alfredo in a boat like this and all I do is I you know scrape it like I did with the other one so that they're loose and then you put you can even get the canned little cans of chicken that's shredded already or chunked put that in there and put alfredo sauce in it and pop it in and warm it up and serve it in this as your bowl I've done that oh, before like a bread bowl like a bread bowl only it's because it's in its own bowl um, or you can put it in another dish and bake it, just like I did with this. Um, but I think soups would be really good out of it. I've never done it, but no, I think it'd be nice really skin. good. Um, like we've always said it with zucchini. Right. Zucchi if you do that. it with zucchini, why not the spaghetti squash? I think you can do basically. So maybe we'll be doing a video on it. Yeah. So that was just some ideas of what you can do if you're trying to do low carb, you're wanting dinners, you like the spaghetti because it's what your family likes. And your family will love something like this. And you could just do it like a spaghetti and not do yeah, it like the... Which this is the first time I've ever had it this way. This and is the first time I've made usually, the pie out of it using the crust as your... Um, usually I um, just brown like the meat spaghetti. and put it in it like you would a spaghetti dish. So there's a lot of different things you can play with and just have fun with it. That's what we do is try to keep things low carb, healthy as we can, as cheap as we can. And, and so we usually try to expand the recipes, you know, it's like this, I would have myself, I would have put cheese on the top. Oh, that would be good. I would have put a little bit more garlic and pepper and, and onions, onions, onions in it. Yeah. 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 But so that, so that's what we do. We come up and, and we are going to be doing a video here very shortly. Uh, people get the boxes from um, the free boxes, free boxes the, of food. 
government because of COVID, the government's giving out these free boxes of food. And then also the the, the one that you pay for the uh, Ruby's pantry, Ruby's pantry, boxes. which you pay twenty dollars, but you get a, a ton of food. So we're going to take those boxes, two of the boxes, and then we're going to show. Uh, it's going to probably be a link to your video. Um, show some of the th dinners that you can make or lunches that you can make or even breakfasts that you can make out of these boxes because I know a lot of people get these boxes and I don't know what to do with them so that's something that we're gonna we're gonna do a video on. right yep so and right now um, Monica is gonna take this over and feed it to one of our tortoises we do have a turtle. store turtle so okay, okay there's so Monica she's gonna, gonna feed our Turtle. turtle. Speedy. It, speedy. Yeah, we call it Speedy. And it, it was, was waiting for, for food, but now we're yeah. there, so he's a little shy yet. We just got it in not long ago. Okay. And then you are also going to feed something else, right? I don't do them until dark. Oh, you got to wait until night to do them, but she's going to feed them. But it's just an idea of what we have in the store. We have some goldfish in there, and there's a turtle in there, too, just a small turtle. Um, we'll be taking a tour of that. Of the yeah, whole store here so we'll do a turtle a tour of the whole store. And so, yep, that's just a little sample of what we have. Back on the back wall, that side, we have all of our fish is in that section of the store. And then on this, we, on the walls, we have uh, consignment stuff, local artists. And then we have um, lizards and all kinds of fun stuff like that. We got local art and stuff done here. We do do crafts here and stuff too. So um, just some fun. There's some cages of turtles and um, lizards and geckos and all kinds of fun stuff. And that's kind of a little, quick little scan of our store. Um, we'll, like I say, we'll be doing more later. So anyway, that's it for now. We will talk to you later and like and share and subscribe. subscribe.